boobs and you're in the shot. Completely, my head. Completely, my head. your boobs are in the shot. Okay, great. I'm a pit sweater. Hey guys, I'm Kelsey, and today I'm here with my best friend, Baby K, and I'm gonna be testing her knowledge on LGBTQ plus terms and see how well she knows them. Do you think you're gonna do good at this? A plus. Okay, we'll see. And I have the answers on my phone so that I can explain it better. I feel like this is like a news interview. Like, <laughs> how do you think you <laughs> Yeah. So we'll start out with an easy one. Oh, do you I, know hope it's, <laughs> I hope it's easy. <laughs> do you know what a butch is? Um, a lesbian that is like, like masculine, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. Next one is femme. That is a band. Right? No, no, it's not a band. <laughs> is it not? It a is band? a band, but no. Like in terms of gay people or lesbians. What is a femme lesbian? They are feminists. She is feminine? Yeah, basically. Okay. Someone who identifies himself as feminine, whether it be physically, mentally, or emotionally. So it is a band though? It's a band, right? Yeah, that is also a band. Okay. Yeah. What is a lipstick lesbian? Uh, that sounds like a lesbian that wears lipstick, but does she like, is she attracted to people that wear like bright lipstick or something? A lipstick lesbian usually refers to a lesbian with a feminine gender expression, can be used in a positive or derogatory way. So it's normally like a lesbian who doesn't look like typically gay. Okay. So you're basically right. I don't know the difference between femme and lipstick, lesbian. I don't yeah, think. I guess there's like a bunch of terms. A stud. They said it on the movie we were just watching. Well, a stud is normally like a really attractive person. A stud would be like more on like the ma masculine side. Yeah. Like she wears, like she doesn't, sometimes she wears her, the thing around her boobs. <laughs> Do you know what a baby dyke is? A baby dyke? <laughs> um, is that like a small, a, a smaller girl, but she like acts really masculine? It's a young and new to being a lesbian. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, lesbian predominantly under age of 25. I don't even know <laughs> some of these. A chapstick lesbian. Uh, her lips are always dry. So <laughs> she needs correct. To no. A lesbian that is somewhat of a tomboy. They tend not to fit into the extremes of. Well, yeah, lipstick, chapstick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A gold star lesbian. You know this one. Like a five star lesbian. No, you knew this one. What is it? Okay. Think. think. A gold star lesbian. She has said, never slept with any guys. Yes. Okay. Yep. Lesbian bed death. Um, is she like bad in bed? Lesbian bed death. I don't know. Does she like slay at sex or something? <laughs> it's like when a lesbian couple gets tired of having sex. It gets boring or something? Yeah, or they just become really good friends and then they just become friends and don't have sex. Does that happen a lot? Um. A pillow princess. Do they like pillow talk? <laughs> Does she have really nice pillows? Like comfortable pillows? No. Pillow princess. Alright, so... <laughs> I thought you would know more well, of these. Is, is she... Is this person good in bed? Is this Are you looking at my pillows to get inspiration? Yes. Is this person like doesn't do anything? Like she's always like... Yeah. She's always, like, the other person's always doing stuff to them, but she yeah. doesn't do anything. Good okay. job. Good job. Number one. First one, I think I got it. A stem. A stem? That sounds negative. Is that negative? No. No? Does she, like, hold the relationship together or something? That was nice. No. A stem is a lesbian who is somewhere in between, like, a stud and a femme. So, like, Ruby Rose. Like, she's an example of a stem. Like, she okay. can be feminine, but then she can also be like a stud kind of masculine. Okay. Like, yeah. So, should I start using these terms now? Like, I see somebody, I'm like, she's a stem. Yeah. I'm like, she's a stud. Yeah. A U Haul lesbian. She's always moving. 
She's she's always moving from girl to girl. That's a good guess, but no. Okay, U Haul carries things. So U Haul carries furniture and stuff. Mm -hmm. So am I going? Am I going to the right? Am I okay. Wait, wait. Is she like? Is the other person all? Is the other person always carrying? You're talking about the weight of the relationship? Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> a U-Haul lesbian is a lesbian who tends to move in fairly quickly with those she dates. <laughs> Internet says, oh, that makes can sense. you say cats? So it's like, yeah, like lesbians are known for getting really, really serious really quickly. Okay. And they move in with each other too quickly. That makes sense. I've never heard this term ever, but Sappho Daddio. Uh, well... Does it have to do with money? Like, a pimp? No. Does she have daddy issues? This one is a gay male who enjoys the company of lesbians. Aww. What is a fruit fly? I don't know any of these. Like, I don't think I've heard any of these except Gold Star. A fruit fly is the opposite. Okay, what were you gonna say? <laughs> the opposite of Sappho Daddio. So it's like a lesbian who likes to hang out with gay guys. Like a fag hag, like a straight girl who likes yes. to hang out with gay guys. You're not a fruit fly, but you're a fag hag. Oh yeah, I'm a fag hag. Gay bee. Gay bee? Um, I don't, is it like, is it a straight person that likes hanging out with gay people? No. I don't know if this is right, but the internet says, a child either adopted by a homosexual couple. Aw, that makes sense. A child conceived by a lesbian couple through artificial insemination, or a child carried by a surrogate for a homosexual couple. That's so cute. I wish I was a gay baby. <laughs> a hasbian. Uh, did they used to be a lesbian? Okay. Yes. Second one. Ooh. Ew! <laughs> a noodle. A noodle? I hate this one. Does it have to do with the vagina? Kind the, of, yeah. Or the penis? Mm, no. Mm, no. Okay, like a gross vagina? Uh, noodle just makes me think like wet. And You're going the right direction. So no vagina. It's like a wet, not vagina. It's a wet vagina. Wet, that's it? That's what a noodle is? No, 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 but it has something to do with a wet vagina. A wet vagina that stinks. No. It is... A curious straight woman, straight until she is wet, like a noodle. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so you know what a gold star is. What is a platinum star? Um, she, she's only had sex with like one guy. Platinum's better than gold. Oh, don't so, put that in there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so no men, I don't know what else there is. Describing a lesbian who has not even kissed a male. So they haven't had sex or kissed a guy. Oh. I thought that was good as a lot of gold star. So would you just, would you call like a lesbian that hadn't, has never had sex with a girl or guys? Like You call just, her a virgin. A unicorn. Um, her vagina is clean. <laughs> and magical. <laughs> and magical. They call it a unicorn because it is rare, but it's like a bisexual woman who will have a threesome with like just a straight couple, like a girl and a guy, and oh, yeah, they call them unicorns because it doesn't happen often. Really? I guess that's what the internet I says. I thought that does happen. <laughs> a size queen. A size queen. Yeah. Um, they like any size girl. Does that have something to do with the vagina? Does she like sleep around? No. It's normally a man, but it could be a man or a woman who prefers their sexual partner to have, like, a big penis. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Are you a size queen? Definitely. <laughs> That's all that matters. I think you know what this one is. A beard? I hope I do. A beard? Yeah. Does that have to do with pubes? Ah! I really thought you knew this one. I don't know, I've never heard this before. <laughs> is it a girl who has facial hair? No, you want me to use it in a sentence? Uh-huh. Okay. Johnny brought his beard to the party so that no one would know he was gay. Oh, like, uh, what's the, what are the people called? Uh, what is, what are they called? A cover-up? 
I guess a cover up, yeah. There's like a certain one. A beard. A beard. <laughs> this is the last one. Bear. Bear. Is this is this like beard? Uh uh. It refers more to like gay guys though. A bear? So all I can think about bears is like they're big and scary. Um, is it something with a penis? No. <laughs> big and scary. <laughs> Is it like a masculine gay guy? Just a big, hairy, masculine gay guy. Well, I really need to brush up on <laughs> gay terminology. <laughs> so that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see more with Baby K, comment below and let me know. And how do you think you did? Um, I don't think I got an A+, but I think I tried. Yeah, really. that's all that matters. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again next week. Most of all, you. Yeah. <laughs>